Hi all, welcome back to Epic Feel Hotel Help, otherwise known as EP Hotel Help, to shorten it down. Um, you may notice there wasn't a video last week, well this video was coming out, um, the Double Tree by Hilton Entrance of Universal Studios. Unfortunately, my old Rode mic didn't want to work, I've had problems with it for weeks and quite frankly, it finally gave in last week. I did actually record it, I put it on YouTube. I put it on my TV on private so I could see what it was like. And quite frankly, I didn't want you to hear it. It sounded so bad. So we are here now with the new microphone, a Rode NT-USB Mini. I already prefer it, so it was a lot less. And so if anybody wants a decent podcast or, I should say, YouTube microphone, but I don't want to spend over £100, this was about £80 on Amazon. Could be cheaper as other places. Keep on checking. And it's really easy to set up. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. So, on these videos, if you're new here, by the way, we are a one-stop shop for you to decide if you want to book the hotel you're looking for. We watch a YouTube a video, move across to a TripAdvisor. Uh, we look at the hotel amenities quickly. Then we move over to six reviews on there. Too awesome, too average, too bad. To give you a better idea, finally move on to Google Maps to show you around the area of the hotel to make you decide if you'd like to stay there or not so let's get on with this people let's get into the youtube video first so here we go at the time of their stay i was op operating at limited capacity because of covid by the way here we go So over 4,000 views, endless summer. Yeah, we'll get past all this spill. Original opened in 1973, the Shelton Twin Towers Hotel Double Tree underwent a complete renovation in 2017. Well, one of the best reasons to stay here, as you can see, is right on the entrance of Universal Studios, a short walk across from Kirkman Road. There's a brand new walkway bridge as well, Coma Row. It's a great feature and very good. So on a busy road, you don't have to worry about crossing the road anymore. The bridge is there for you. Beautiful Universal. Free transportation from the hotel as well. So there and back. So if the weather's bad or raining or you just got a young child who maybe doesn't want to walk. So the hotel's only a 20 minute drive away depending on traffic from um, hotel and MCO. As you can see all the other theme parks are quite close as well. Apparently 15 minutes away from SeaWorld. And Walt Disney World is about 20 minutes, maybe 25. And the nightlife in downtown Orlando is 20 minutes away. Uh, me, I just personally go to City Walk, but that's your choice. I think the pool looks very basic though, but it'll do a job for swimming. And a kiddie's pool as well. Splash area for the kids, they have fun in that no matter what. And a poolside bar, what else could you ask for? Double Tree has a fair size fitness center, it looks very dated. I think it'd be good having mirrors on, make the room look bigger, but that's their choice. Got UPS in there as well, it's very useful. You've got your shop where you can get your milk, your amenities, towels, extra clothes, all that's in there as well. Several dining options, from quick service to casual dining. Obviously through COVID, not all this was open. The American Grill Double Tree's main dining option, open daily until 10 p.m. Got the Sunshine Cafe as well, with there's breakfast and lunch. 
do pizza, burgers and more 12 to 9pm. What else could you ask for? They also have a gelato shop. That's quite cool for your ice cream stuff, isn't it? Not many hotels have that. And as it says, look at all them restaurants nearby. What we will go and try and find on Google Maps later. And of course, the plus is you've got all the City Walks dining options for you from Burger King to proper dining. I think the rooms look fine. It's all been renovated and flat screen TVs now. I'm not a fan of the green chair though. As you can see, there's normal rooms and suites, it looks like, in this hotel as well. Plenty of closet space and a mini fridge. Just remember, English guests, you may get a different price for this due to be booking longer normally. Good news, there's no resort fees for this hotel. You do have to pay for parking though, people. For them, it may be the best booking for Hilton always check, but for UK guests, yet again, check on your providers online and that. Not bad stuff to like. No resort fees, always the best one. Hotel shown at age 1973, lack of resort style, poor, I agree with that. Direct a major noisy road nearby, that's never really bothered me. I think it's a beautiful looking photo you can get of this hotel. I don't think it's as dated as people think it looks personally. I think it's a nice looking outside hotel. Okay, and as you can see here, there is a added video before we sign let's take a ride on the Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure at Universal's Island of Adventure so if you would want to see that by all means as I say it'll be in the show notes go and watch the rest of the video and give them a like for it so basically people that is the first part done you've seen the YouTube part of the hotel there's a lot of stuff in there I'm quite shocked they've got a lot of stuff in there I know they've got Starbucks but currently don't know if it's open at this time being but you saw loads of different places to it if you're just going for universal this place is awesome it's not even that far from international drive um it may be annoying you probably can't walk it down to international drive but there's ways to do that if you're smart you could get into universal studios go to the main car park and get the free shuttle down to the endless summer hotels i don't say you should do that by the way but if you try to do that, that's your choice um also there's obviously things like uber and lyft as well so the options are there so what we're going to do now is we're going to move across to a tripadvisor so here we go on TripAdvisor. As you can see, it's a double tree by Hilton Hotel entrance to Universal Orlando. It's had over 1,828 reviews. Um, its address is 5780 Major Boulevard, Orlando, Florida, 32819-7904. Plus, don't forget, it's got a phone number here. And don't forget to use the international dialing code number for the US if you're ringing from abroad. The number is 00185560503018. And by the way, people, if you're ever ringing from abroad and you're thinking, well, I can't do that. It's too expensive. Something I did about 2012, I put about a tenner on my Skype account. And I've still got about four quid left on there. And I ring my hotels constantly while I'm in England. I do this because... I've had bookings what have gone wrong before, so a week before I go, I just give them a quick call, say everything's fine, make sure I've got the right amount of rooms, the right type of rooms, and all that stuff, and we're on the bookings. So when we get there, there is no headache. So the answer is simply Skype, people. It doesn't hardly cost anything on Skype, even the money will last forever. So a little tip from Phil. So what we got is about, so it's a 4.0 out of 5 on TripAdvisor. The property amenities and that will all come up in a minute. But renovated in 2017, our Doubletree by Hilton, a Universal Orlando Partner Hotel offers modern guest rooms, 
comforting um, amenities. Enjoy your signature chocolate chip cookies and know that this welcome gift is only a taste of a warm personal service you will experience at Double Tree by Hilton at the entrance of Universal Orlando. So we could have a look at the property amenities. I don't show them all. Yet again, go on TripAdvisor, check them all. But let's quickly go through some of them now. So property amenities, valet parking, um, free internet, pool, fitness center, gym and workout room, bar lounge, free shuttle and taxi service. Be careful, free taxis. I always don't quite understand that one. Business center and internet access, conference facilities. So the room features. What can mean good for you at night time? Air conditioning, housekeeping, a room service, safe iron, refrigerator, flat screen TV and on demand movies. Yet again, if you're going in the period of COVID-19, there could be restrictions on cleaning. Just remember that and get that checked before you go. What it is and know what you're getting in for. Room types. So they're all non-smoking. They're suites and family rooms. So what's this stuff is good to know now. Hotel class is a three out of five. Language is spoken normally in Florida is English and Spanish. And the hotel style is mid-range to family. So what we're doing now is we're going to move all the way down to the TripAdvisor reviews. We'll start off with the two excellent. And let's have a read of these. The first one's not very long. What's quite always quite useful. Fonja jar duncan 31 13th of july i was looking forward to starbucks our stay was perfect even though when we extended our stay last minute my only issue with the room is that we were met with a few long hairs in the bathroom sink in the tub very short and sweet the next one's definitely longer from a nelson p june 2021 location 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 a few seconds I'm not sure why this hotel receives bad reviews. The staff couldn't have been that friendlier. Uh, more helpful. The room was clean and comfortable. And the location was amazing. If Universal is your primary destination. That's the one you want then. Take it, uh, it, it, take it for what it is. There's a, there's a free parking. And f there, there's a fee for parking. People, I need to learn to read sometimes. <laughs> and food is a little pricey, but the lack of resort fees is a nice bonus. So there is a fee for parking, is what they were saying. I kept on saying free, that is totally wrong. There's a fee. Um, to add to the discussion about walking to the parks, it's very easy walk, about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how fast you walk. Over a roadway bridge and the sidewalks to the ride chair pickup area. We walked there in the afternoon and back around at midnight. Most of it was well lit and I did I didn't feel unsafe at any point. It would have been easy to say I felt safe all times, but okay. The way I looped uh, the way I looked at it, I got that right even though Mr. K up. By the time I drove over and walked from the cheap parking, I was looking at twenty to twenty five minutes anyway. So no real point in driving. The free hotel show is probably nice, but you need to reserve a space the day before, so we missed our chance. So, 24 hours a day before, people, as they say, later you leave it through the day, it's more likely you're going to miss out on it if it's busy. The only miss at the hotel was the digital key. It never worked for us, not one time, including the parking lot. I've used it dozens of times at plenty of other properties. It was um, uniquely inappropriate. Uh, inappropriate here i repeatedly received a try again and then found noticed in my app no deal breaker but i wouldn't plan using it without a key backup don't skip the front desk when arrive so this sounds like a phone app they're using people i would personally even if you book in with a phone app some point go downstairs go and get a couple of keys for the room as you say something goes wrong with the app you got the key as a backup as well personally i prefer the keys anyway i've never really liked using my phone for that sort of stuff so there's the two awesome reviews we're going to move across now to the two average and see what other people are thinking of this hotel we've got my mum thinks i'm cool and i also think that's a great trip advisor name well done wrote the 8th of july Okay, but I'm missing some benefits. The rooms are cleaner and a good size. You can walk to Universal. The pool is fine. I used to like this property more pre-COVID due to the on-site breakfast buffet. But honestly, with no cleaning service, no buffet, I wouldn't pay the full price again. Once things are back to fully, I assume it will be a great place again. But right now, it's not worth the money unless you get a discount. 
you're better off at an official universal hotel. He means like a Endless Summer one, a Cabana Bay, them sort of things, Hard Rock, Royal Pacific. It's not the star's fault. I'm sure there's employee shortages, but Hilton, the company needs to either get going or finding people or discount these properties you're getting less and paying all prices that's not great i kind of agree with that next one is a mikey 875 6th of july 2021 obviously disappointed hilton honor members right so this is going to be a person straight away who's a has a membership so they expect perfect and they expect everything to be great for them it's like annual pass i out like myself at universal we expect to be treated bad but that's not the way it should be done we all should be treated the same and you should always do your homework especially on hotels even if you're a hotel member in my opinion run over hilton honors members room was room was up to par but i like room was up to par but i like the renovation bed was comfortable just noisy environment room was not properly cleaned but i addressed that and it has been responded um the noisy thing i'm guessing he's on about the main roads if he's on about people at hotels i'm sorry it's a holiday resort area around there you expect families young people older people all having a good time get used to it people if you don't want noise go and get yourself a villa um but that's just my opinion on that i always find that amazing and people moan about noise in hotels i'm sorry if you want a quiet hotel five star paid the big bucks but in disney and that you're still going to get the noise because yet again young kids and that people are excited it's a it's a holiday exciting dinner destination it's not a lazy destination so you're going to have overhyped over noisy people i get if you mean someone's in their room until two in the morning with their mates banging music out yeah that's not allowed but other things I just don't have. As I said, if you wanted quiet people, please go and get a villa. Um, I can review them in the future at some point. <laughs> Villas as well, to give you an idea. So let's move across to the terrible where the people are over the top and expect five-star hotels for half the price. Here we go. Sherry, 1192, 14th July 10, 2021, I presume. Worst hotel ever, I very much doubt that, but here we go. Worst hotel ever, no housekeeping, no room service. I requested housekeeping for some clean towels, never showed up. It was like pulling teeth to get some clean towels. And £3.50 for a cup of coffee. Only on a, only one restaurant open with all for food, the most uncomfortable pillows I've ever encountered. Only good thing was it, it was close to Universal. Coffee price, kind of, if I'm guessing that Starbucks, average price, um... All restaurants are closed because of COVID and cleaning's downhill because there's not enough cleaners because of COVID. Right, next one. C to C. I wrote this the 6th of July. Do not stay here. Rip off. Just arrived at the dump to find no room service. <laughs> Plus the hotel. Plus, at this hotel, they surprise you with daily parking fees. LOL. It's not a surprise. People, I'm going to finally find someone like this. When you book a hotel, check everything. Also, make sure if there's resort fees, parking fees, Wi-Fi fees. That is down for you to check. If it's not on the official site, go through a few other things. Check them out. Don't just look in one place. Always check this stuff out. I had never booked a hotel without checking stuff out first. Because you may think you're getting a good deal, and then you're not. So, just a little tip. Always check for parking, resort fees, and if the Wi-Fi is free in the rooms or anywhere in the hotel. Because it's not always free, people. So check this stuff out. Um, as I said, they actually charge a guest for parking. Most hotels do that. There's only a few who don't now. I would never stay at the Double Tree again. I'd say it like that because they put it in capitals. Paris. This is Paris Hill and he's mean straight away. Must be desperate for a new purse. <laughs> Hey, a double tree, you can't, you can't, you be stand up and honest and tell your customers you have to pay for parking when you book with you. And they will also don't provide a room service. I would give it this place 10 zero stars if I could. I'm going to quickly read what they put back to him. We appreciate you taking your time and to provide us with the candid feedback of your stay. I'm very sorry to hear that your stay did not meet expectation. Parking fees is mandatory for all your guests and is posted on our hotel website. 
Due to COVID-19, room service has not been operating in our hotel until further notice. I hope they don't mean they don't clean full stop, because that's disgusting. Otherwise, people, yet again, check that out. Go and buy some stuff and do the room yourself like your home. I know it's annoying, but, yep. So, it's on the website. Parking fees is there. Whatever this person's booked it through hasn't done there for homework. So, there you go. It You have your um, TripAdvisor review there so what we're going to quickly do now is move over to google maps have a quick look around the hotel see what's nearby and see how far this route actually is from the hotel over the bridge to universal so there is google maps let me help you out here people so there's the double tree by hilton um hotel entrance to universal as they like having the longest name in history just trying to zoom in a bit more for you so you can see there's a few hotels around us but if you look right near the car park there's millers a walgreens a burger king wendy's looks very close we're going this way there's a tgi's We've got a tourist info area as well i think you can get tickets for different things um yeah it's all pretty close uh, if we go across the road i don't know if you can cross this road so always be careful people i don't know how these roads work out here there's like there's a massage place pseudo plazas uh carabari in italiano um loads of different places it looks like hotels you got ihops kfc's the hooters that i have been to many a times and i think it's better than the one in the international drive this one gets more people who are actually from my land so i actually do prefer this one and I'll have a lot more if truth be told there you go taco bells and that it's all close by so there's the hotel as you can see i'm zooming in on per purpose and you can see there's a walk there's a bridge and i'm guessing up here is all the universal stuff i wouldn't know which way you're meant to be walking though that's one thing you're going to have to find out but as you can see universal's here zoom back out quickly so there was your walk and this is universal studios there's the universal hotel one of the people's talking about like the hard rock and that even closer Portofino bay and then if you go this way you've got all the other hotels like lowe's royal specific um, Sapphire Falls, Cabana Bay and all that stuff um, This is all the way down to International Drive This picture really needs updating There's Universal's in the summers And as you can see International Drive There is a ton of stuff to do From eating to pirate dining to golf to bowling Many hotels there as well So as I say there is just so much around here It's absolutely ridiculous as we zoom back in on the double tree really give it a zoom this time for you this is starbucks and that as i say it's not a small hotel stand hotel and lake at the back so if they're talking about noise because of the road maybe try and request a room lake side maybe a bit more money but it may be the better option for you so pretty much that is the double tree hilton entrance of universal studios have you stayed here did you like it did you not like it would you stay here again comment down below and tell me either on youtube or facebook but on youtube please subscribe to epic shows check out all the shows on there we've got the epic florida project where me and simon talk all things theme park news and the surrounding areas we've got rant football where me and andrew g do our chats about man united and chelsea so if you're into football there's stuff there if we ever get back to orlando at some point we all will me and simon plan so both of us and our separate families share vlogs on here for your entertainment as well so check all that out and like this video um give it a thumbs down if you don't like it the idea is to get it out to more people it helps the algorithm on youtube so more people will view it plus share it to your friends share it to your family share it on your facebook let's get these out to more people there's plenty of these videos from me now on um orlando hotels a few from disney a few from dis um universal quite a few on international drive so go and check them all out and see what you think as i said before go and check out end of the summer's full video give them a thumbs up and go and subscribe to them and if there's a hotel you'd ever like me to choose comment down below again and i'll try and get onto it for you from me all stay safe and see you soon feel out